soak some of it up with a, with a nice cloth or something. Here's Mike Harrison with his giant Jurassic jigsaw. A lovely crinoid cup there. This huge, amazing fossil specimen. How big do you think it is, Mike? Um, I reckon it's about, about 10 by nine feet. Won't really know so I've got all the pieces together. But certainly something like that. You can see why people think it's a bit alien, some of this material. Water's really bringing it to life. Yeah. Gives you a bit of an idea of what it will look like when it's fully prepared. How long has it taken you so far, Mike? Too long. <laughs> <laughs> section you've got there with the stems and yeah. the lovely head towards the end. And some people who really don't like the crinoid material. Look how many thousands and thousands and stuff must be making up this whole lens. That is a really good point. What a huge colony. Is that the right description or is it a herd of crinoid? <laughs> colony, yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's amazing, Mike. What a huge effort. And here's another table that Mike Harrison is working on with more crinoid material in his giant Jurassic jigsaw. It's such a huge piece. What a lot of work. All I can say is, Arr! And who started it all? The famous fossil lady of Lyme Regis, Mary Anning. Well, that really did scrub up well though, that bit, didn't it? Mm. Beautiful piece. There's even a little ammonite here, look. It's the only Is ammonite. It really, an ammonite in these. See, that's the amazing thing. You'd expect there to be other fossils um, within it, but that's the only sign of ammonite. Oh, yeah. Any other fossil, just there, look. It's a tiny little ammonite. Just pure crinoid. That is a big crinoid head there, in terms of scale. You don't see them bigger than that, do you? No. From the back of the shed there to here, yeah, that's um, nigh on seven and a half feet. So um, by the time you've put, added that on to this end and that to that end, you're certainly looking um, nine foot. So that's that's kind of the minimum length. I'm trying to work out where these pieces go, and I can't, you know, I just get fed up, I go indoors, come down the next morning, take one look, and they go, oh look, that bit goes there. It's like your brain's working it all out while you're asleep. Yeah, but it does, doesn't it? Does, it? Yeah. You, you do sort things out while you're asleep, especially all these little fragments that have to go back together again. Well, let's show you the film I made of Mike finding the crinoid back in the winter months. So I'm meeting up with Mike Harrison today at Mike Harrison's Fossils on Instagram and he's found the most wonderful fossil crinoid you could ever imagine. Here's just a fragment of what he is digging in a mudslip that is like soft cream cheese with special permission to do that work from the National Trust. There's no digging in the cliffs in situ, but look at this wonderful fossil that he's working on at this juncture. I'm going to be showing you all of this amazing dig today on YouTube. This is a fossil crinoid, sea lily, 
It is also known as... Well, Mike's just gonna go home now and get changed and continue some work with this lovely crinoid material on the beach. There is a fossil collecting code of conduct along the Jurassic Coast. You can see that online. pieces always go together easiest so let's hope for some really nice details what a treat to look see you've not lifted that yeah. up before no one's seen that in 190 oh, million years oh my word look at that crinoid cut why that wash up a treat beauty wow what an astonishing looking thing. Tiny bit of sand there. A little bit of sand, the attrition of the sand and sea, scrubbing that wonderful fossil up. Wow, look at that. That really does show a wonderful crinoid cut. I thought I'd just splice this film in with the dig to show you how Mike will go on further to prepare this intricate fossil specimen with the use of different hand tools. Amazing, I'm happy yeah. that, that one piece alone. Really? Let alone, <laughs> let alone all what's worth, to come. Worth all the work. <laughs> Absolutely. Put this one safe over here. Yep. They're going to be the easy pieces to put back together. Look at that lovely um, imprint it's oh, left yeah, behind. Exactly. Well, I must take a photo of that. Yeah, exactly. Look at that print. Well, I can't wait for the next bit to have a look at the next bit, seeing something like that emerge. Well, it's coming up. Got a head there. That other bit must be fantastic with the head. This there's is going to clean up nice. There's some lovely stems. stems there. Yeah. They'll clean up lovely, they will. Wow. What an amazing first sight seeing an actual crinoid cup come out being revealed for the first time in all those millions of years. Another Jurassic Age. We'll take the little piece out from the little uh, cheese wedge. Bit of wood there. Yeah, that's the wood. Part of the wood. I wonder how that's got underneath. It's a little bit of detail showing there, so there could be a bit of a head there. It's just gonna be amazing when I when we see it all scrubbed up. <clears throat> that little section. Yeah, needs got to the go little shard too. Needs to go with that. There. Always a job for wellies. <laughs> Right, are we in for a treat on this piece? Move that bit out of the way. It's a nice big thick wedge. I think we are. Yeah, it's, it's, it is there underneath. Wow. 
just nice to have the mud on it really that it is so well preserved it's stems in yeah, um, look at cross the stems section, in section. And some of the crinoids come away look and um mud's got between the two layers there Look at that, you don't see that often, do you? No. Split layers. That'll be interesting. So the um, beef has permeated the actual crinoid bed there and split the split it. Well, no, I, th I think what's happened is as it laid on the sea floor, mud's got between some of the some of the crinoids. Yeah, yeah. So that's the first bit of this uh, thinner section to lift up then, isn't it, Mike? Let's have a look at the, yeah. We'll do, we'll do this little group here, yeah. all in one bag. I know everything goes together. Yeah. We've got a couple of photos of it. Yeah, I took the photos um, for you. To aid, aid putting it back together. So we'll give this one a lift. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, look. yay. Look at that's going to be beautiful. That crinoid cup there. Lovely sway on it. Yeah. So I get this whole group in a bag, then it... One. It really thins out fast, doesn't it? There, look. Oh yeah. Paper. Paper thin. It's gonna get, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. It is. So. Those pieces go. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Going onto the edge of the log, hasn't it? There. Oh, that's nice. Wow, really good relief. There, I'll put it onto a nice thick piece as well. Yeah. Right? That will scrub up a tree. Lovely crinoid heads on the bottom of this piece. As if it comes out. Hmm, might have a little bit of trouble here. So wedged in. Yeah, it's, um, oh yeah. I need to remove a bit more. Give it that something or other. Bit of a shake. It's all shattered to the side. These pieces should might come out easily. A wiggle. Yeah. And then as you wiggle them, <coughs> they still don't come out sometimes. Such a thick, heavy piece. I've got some spare gloves if you need them, Mike. Oh, I've got some in the coat. It's coming. Is it? Yeah, yeah, you're coming. Millimetre by millimetre. Put a little bit of beef on there. Yeah. And then that'll protect the underside. Excellent. Oh, yeah, you've got a nice lift on that. Wow. Yeah. Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there's some nice stuff on there. Oh, there's some nice, some nice relief, stem. isn't there? Yeah. Very oh, much hidden, but it's definitely there. That'll clean up, right? Yeah. And on the edges. Big thick piece. That's how we like it. He's bagged up crinoid. All ready to piece back together. Those are really good bags. Where do you get those from, Mike? Yeah, where did I get them from? Don't know. Good sturdy bags. They're good sturdy them. bags, so they do the job. Perfect. <laughs> right, I'm starting the video now. <laughs> the, re the rest is going to get chopped out. I haven't got a muddy face as well, have I? No, you're actually you're really good, um, uh, sort of with the mud pack and stuff. But uh, <laughs> look at that with the uh, with the boots there, and then the back of a fossil hunter's car. Well, I don't think if you're clean, tidy. There's no way you're fossil hunting properly. There we go, head torches, just a few bits of crinoid, and um, of course, uh, some skippers. <laughs> <laughs> for lunch. an advert for John West there. Yeah, better not, otherwise, I'll have to do. Um, we, we, yeah, what, why would we want to advertise that? <laughs> Are they nice though, Mike? <laughs> not bad. Yummy. Ha, ha, ha.
So as long as you don't dig in the cliffs and sit you're allowed to take the fossils that wash out along the shoreline, the sea doing the work for you. And it was amazing to see Mike Harrison today doing the work out here, finding that crinoid, that exemplary piece of fossil material, absolutely stunning. And uh, what I'll do is show you some amazing fossils too, later on in my YouTube videos that we've both found, and we'll talk about those. So thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.